So today I'm going to show you how do I use the M.2 SSD drive with my Mac Mini and the MacBook Air. So the full name of M.2 SSD is uh, the M.2 NVMe SSD. Uh, also, it is called Non-Volatile Memory Express Solid State Drive. That's a mouthful. Um, I choose uh, this M.2 SSD with uh, enclosure. Um, this brand is called a, a Casis. I like this case because you can open the case uh, without any tools, uh, and then you can just uh, insert the SSD. It also comes with this uh, heat sink, or should call it a heat pad. Uh, you can just uh, peel it off and uh, and uh, stick kind of to this SSD. Well, it uh, make it looks ugly, but uh, we don't have to see it. Let's just close it. All right, this is the back of the Mac Mini. And uh, you can see I have one HTML cable connected to one monitor, 4K monitor. And then the other um, Thunderbolt cable connected to another 4K monitor. And uh, they have uh, one extra uh, Thunderbolt cable I connected to uh, this M.2 SSD. Well, on the Mac Mini, I made two participations for the M.2 SSD. So I give 1.5 terabytes to um, the storage just for regular uses and another 500 gigabytes for the time machine to back up my computer, um, as you can list here. Then I created the same root folder structures as my a regular MacBook like desktops, doc documents, um, applications, stuff like that. And I copied all the applications to this new application folders. So now if I open the Spotlight search, for example, Firefox, and you can see we have two Firefox applications listed here. One is from the Macintosh HD hard drive and the other is from the uh, Kisses, the M.2 SSD. Look at the Chrome and look at the Visual Studio, the code, look at the Visual Studio. You get what I mean. All application, as long as you copy to both application folders, uh, you will have both application listed here. But I used to use this M.2 SSD drive with my MacBook Air. Now I move this M.2 SSD to the Mac Mini. Then what's going to happen to the applications I used to run on the MacBook Air? Now the shortcut no longer able to find that application. So we have we can see all the question marks. Actually, those are the shortcuts to the application used on the M.2 SSD. Okay, now I took that M.2 SSD off the Mac Mini and the plug back in the MacBook Air. As you can see, we can still see the question mark, but when I click it, boom, they find the application, like the Chrome. What about iTerm? Yeah, you see the icon even show back. I like to use this M.2 SSD between my MacBook Mini and the MacBook Air. Um, at home now, I prefer using the Mac Mini because I can use dual monitors by default. Um, but occasionally, if I want to go out, I bring my MacBook Air, uh, I can continue to work um, because all my applications runs from this M.2 SSD. Some people even run the whole Mac OS from the M.2 SSD, um, but I still prefer my current settings because if I'm running the Mac OS on the M.2 SSD, then either to use uh, my Mac Mini or Mac, uh, MacBook Air, I have to connect to this M.2 SSD. But with my current settings, I need only connect to this M.2 SSD if I want to continue the work I have been working on the other computer. 
Otherwise, if I just want to visit the website, for example, using Chrome uh, or I writing a new program, something like that, I don't have to open this M.2 SSD.